You sure are a strange one, aren't you? This is a nice car. We've got a, got a lot of room in the back. You want me to come to you? Hmm? Are, are you okay? Oh my god! <laughs> controlling infectious diseases have been developed primarily through the work of scientists whose painstaking search for new knowledge and improved methods is never-ending. Animals, too, play an important role in the experimental development and in the production of vaccines, including typhoid, diphtheria, tetanus, scarlet fever, cholera, typhus, infantile paralysis, plague. The campaign against infectious disease can succeed only if the public cooperates. In vaccination, a substance called a vaccine is introduced into the body. Calves are the source of smallpox vaccine. Large quantities of vaccine are produced by infecting healthy calves like this one. Virus multiplies rapidly, and by the fifth day, crusts have formed on the skin. These crusts are collected. They contain the live germs, which will serve as vaccine for human beings. From this mixture, individual doses of the vaccine are prepared. Now let's see how this vaccine, made from dead germs, works when injected into a live animal. The antibodies in the blood of this immune rabbit will attack pneumococci germs wherever they encounter them. For this vaccine, dead germs are needed because there is no weakened form of pneumococci. A third type of vaccine involves the use of poison. In diphtheria, illness is produced by this poison or toxin. Formaldehyde is added to the toxin. When a child is given this injection, the toxoid stimulates the production of antibodies. These antibodies are effective against diphtheria toxin. The germs that cause lobar pneumonia are being used. The resulting vaccine is called diphtheria toxoid. At first, the germs increase faster than the antibodies. If this continues, the patient gets steadily worse and may even die. Commercial laboratories make possible the large-scale production of vaccines that meet required standards. Protect yourself against infection. You must eat regularly, get lots of exercise and fresh air. You must wear sensible clothing to provide proper warmth to remain healthy. Go to bed at a reasonable hour. Keep pencils and other things out of your mouth. Never Never take bites of other people's food. Do not use somebody else's drinking straw or glass. And wash your hands frequently and thoroughly, especially before eating. Hey, try some of this. I think it has rum and pineapple juice in it. Oh my god, that smells awful. Uh, give it to me, I'll drink it. <laughs> <sighs> Who is it? Nobody. It's your mother, isn't it? <sighs> Sometimes she just gets on my nerves. You know, the other day I was sleeping and I had the urge to wake up and I opened my eyes and she's staring at me. She was watching me while I was sleeping. I mean, 
Isn't that a bit fucking creepy? I don't, I don't know, it's fair. But... I think it's nice that your mother cares so much. Oh. Paige, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, an in, I'm an insensitive asshole and I was not thinking. I am sorry. It's okay, Mo. It happens. No, still. Still. <laughs> hey, do you want to take a free running class with me? Sydney's teaching it. What's free running? It's this really cool new, like, physical art form. We, like, move through your surroundings in, like, a fluid way. And you, like, cool little jumps and acrobats and stuff. <laughs> Dropped a beer bottle. It's okay. They're cleaning it up. Just relax, issues. You're right. I have an idea. You want to take a walk? Smoke a J? Besides the fact that I don't smoke, you're dating my friend. Relax. Just a walk. For old time's sake. I have to go anyways. It's getting late. Fine. I'll walk you home. Thanks, but no thanks. Mo walking you home? Paige, it's about time you ditch that loser. Hey, he's my best friend. And with the likes of Travis and Daryl as friends, you're the last person to tell me who I should or shouldn't hang out with. You're so cute when you get upset. I think about you all the time. We had some fun together, didn't we? <laughs> I don't think what you did to me was called fun. Come on, Paige, you act like I committed a crime or something. It was a crime. Then why didn't you press charges? There you are. I was wondering what took you so long. Just better come down and see if you want to take a walk. Sure. Is Paige you coming? Uh, no, it's getting late. You know my dad. Yeah. Call me tomorrow, okay? I will. Bye. Bye. Woo! There he is. Thank you, Jeeves. Nice. Yeah, what about me? <laughs> no way, man. It's not my fault you can't count. <laughs> you lost the bet. He's my beer runner for the night. Who wants on the bet? No, what was the bet? I bet him that he couldn't drink 10 glasses of water in 10 minutes. Oh, you, you fell for that, you dumbass? You should have seen him on the 8th glass. He was trying so hard to keep it in. <laughs> Just give him a beer. Hey, beer runner. Wanna go get me a beer? Shut the fuck up, Charlie. Oh. Oh, yeah. well, what are you gonna do about it, Sherpa? I don't know what Sherpa is, but I definitely know I'm coming down hard on you, son. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Oh shit. Shit. 
dumbass is just chill? Everyone else just relax. These two idiots do this all the time. Oh, bless you. Oh, my allergies are driving me crazy. Jesus! Watch where you're going, buddy! You tell him, a learner. Well, you know what? I'd be even more upset if it wasn't a Porsche Cayenne Turbo S with 500 horsepower and 0 to 60, 4.9 seconds. Whoa, that machine. <laughs> Boys in their cars. You know, you think with all the money they make in the property taxes in this neighborhood that they'd be able to afford a freaking sidewalk. Yeah, let's start a petition. <laughs> Serious, Mo. Anyways, in the not-so-distant future, I don't think we have to worry about walking home. Are you saying what I think you're saying? I think Stu and Jan are gonna cave and buy me a car! Okay, and how can you be sure this time? Paige, I've known my parents my entire life, and one thing neither of them can do is keep a secret. Shh. Did you hear that? Yeah, but I'm gonna pretend I didn't. I think it came from in there. Oh, Paige, can I be the voice of reason here and recommend that we do not enter the dark and scary forest? Come on, it's probably just a puppy or something. Fine. Come on. There, maybe it found its mother's. Is that a yo yo? Shh. I think it's coming from over there. Paige! 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 the trail. Okay, well, whatever it is, it's gone. Can we go? Fine. Oh my god! Come on, show yourself, you asshole! Whoa, whoa, Paige, I don't think you should be doing that. And why not? Only you would take pictures. It's not for fun, dummy. It's for the article I'm gonna write. This place is starting to creep me out. Just a few more, okay? No, seriously, Paige. Let's get the fuck out of here. Come on. Good morning. Hey, your uh, breakfast is getting cold. Oh, and Pete, you haven't told me anything about the trip this weekend. Paige? Dad, how many times do I have to tell you to keep the plastic separate from the glass? I spent a lot of time organizing this. Early Sunday morning, a rancher was woken up to some sounds coming from the barn. Upon further investigation, he discovered one of his cows was brutally murdered. I, uh, I saw it. It uh, was some kind of creature. I tried to shoot the goddamn thing, but, uh, well, it was moving too goddamn fast. Thanks. Back to you, Tom. Hey. Is that my shirt? Hello? Could you not? I don't care if you wore my clothes. Just ask, okay? Fine. Hey. Yeah. This weekend? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I got a lot going on with school and stuff, but... Hey, can we talk about this later? Mo's waiting outside. Look, okay, you haven't made a decision for over a week. At some point, you're going to have to sit down with me and talk about this. I promise we'll talk tonight. Fine. 
I'll be waiting. I still love you. Hey, Mo. Sorry I'm late. My stupid alarm clock keeps wigging out on me. But hey, new record. Got ready in five minutes. Can't be done. Uh, can too. One minute to brush my teeth and wash my face. One minute to get dressed. One minute to comb my hair. One minute to do my makeup. One minute to eat and put in a little quality time at the family breakfast table. I would have been out even faster if my dad hadn't stopped me to talk. So you didn't shower? No, I didn't shower. I just sprayed myself a little perfume. <laughs> That's disgusting. That's not disgusting. I'll shower after second period. And besides, you are not one to talk about personal hygiene. Mister, I use my floor as a closet. Hey, my floor's immaculate. What do you make of the thing in the forest? I'm not sure yet, but I'm definitely hoping I'll have a story by Friday. Hey, Paigey. Wanna ride? Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, move over. over. Go ahead, Paige. There's no point in both of us being late for school. No, it's okay, guys. You go without me. Okay. See you later. Should have gone. I totally would have ditched you if it was the other way around. God, Tyler, you scared me half to death. Whatever you're reading, I only hope it's half as interesting as your next article. Oh, about my next article, I was wondering if I could... We already talked about this. Once the assignments go out, there's no turning back. But I really think that if we were to change some of the themes, it could be a lot more poignant. Poignant? Paige, you're 17 years old. Turning 18 in three months. My point is, you're still too inexperienced. But I think that I may have seen a ritualistic killing of an animal. You witnessed this. No, but I arrived literally seconds after it happened. I emailed you the pictures. Didn't you get them? I get hundreds of emails every day, and we're not going to run the story. What? Look, an animal killed another animal in the forest. We live next door to nature. This kind of thing happens all the time. But why would it just leave the body? I don't know, Paige. Maybe it heard you guys coming up, and it ran away. For all we know, this is a bunch of idiots playing some stupid prank. Well, that's what I thought, too, until I started digging a little deeper, and I found this website. Are you serious? Look, this is a chat room for sci-fi geeks and people who want to believe in the paranormal. You're wasting your time. I want you to focus on your assignment. But Tyler, Paige, I think this... your father and I go way back, but I want you to know you got this job based solely on your own merit. In saying that, if you want me to run a story, you will earn it. That's it. How's the sandwich? I don't know what it is. I just get these cravings every now and again. You want some? Beef carpaccio. <laughs> no, no thanks. Okay, people, settle down. A number of case studies to get through today, so let's not waste any more time. Before I get started, uh, I'd like to introduce everyone to my patient, who's been nice enough to join us today, Mr. Henry Morris. Hey, Sid. I heard your father's playing God again and got you into neurosurgery. <laughs> okay, people, settle down. Henry came into the hospital about three days after he was bitten by what we understand to be a rabid raccoon. After tending to his sutures, he began displaying some very typical symptoms of encephalitis, symptoms such as Headache, nausea, photophobia or sensitivity to light, aching bones. <coughs> After running some tests that came back positive, Henry was immediately admitted into uh, the hospital and we began treatment for encephalitis. Henry responded very quickly to the treatment and was released that very day. <coughs> Are you alright? Uh, I'm fine. I just... <coughs> I got something stuck in my throat. Here, have some water. <clears throat> Henry um, came back three weeks later, this time with much more severe symptoms. 
By now, the inflammation of the brain had become so severe we were concerned about possible brain damage. Sydney, your father will see you. Yeah, no, I understand. I understand. Listen, I'll have to phone you back. How are you? I'm fine. Do you want anything to drink? No. Carol, could we have two servings of Darjeeling, please? Was anybody else hurt? No. And your patient? Well, he's he's stable, but uh, he's not good. So what happened? Dad, don't act like you don't already know. I'm sure Dr. Sweeney filled you in on all the gory details. He did, but I just wanted to hear your side of it. Look, he was fine. I examined him thoroughly an hour before the presentation. He didn't have any symptoms. It just doesn't make any sense. You're right, son. It doesn't. Keep at it. Time is the wisest counselor of all. I spoke with Dr. Peter Hartman in neurology admissions this morning. He says you're a shoe in <laughs> This is good news, son. I worked very hard to get you into this program. A little gratitude for the effort would be nice. I thought this is what you wanted. This is what you wanted. You're the one that's been pushing me my whole life to become a neurosurgeon. So that you can brag to your colleagues about how much chip off the old block. That's not fair. Really? Then why didn't you help Beth or Grace get into the program? Your sisters both decided they want to have a family. We all know being a general surgeon is extremely time consuming and not conducive to raising a family. Becoming general practitioners are wise decisions on their part. I want to raise a family. Why don't I become a GP as well? No, you're just being obtuse. You have way too much talent and ability to waste on just being a GP. Well, that's my decision to make, Dad, not yours. So is wasting your time at Juilliard. Is that what it was? I take it back. Maybe Juilliard wasn't exactly a waste of time. But now it's time to get serious. I didn't invest 25 years of my life raising you so you could throw it all away. Invest? What the fuck am I, Dad? Part of your stock portfolio? Keep your Or else what? What are you gonna do, Dad? You gonna hit me, Dad? I'm not a kid anymore. I hit back. Get out! Hey, so what do you guys want to do today? Fight. 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 All right, people have spoken. Let's fight. Hey, Paige. Hey. So how you been? They won't let me write my own stories at the paper. <laughs> I'm just so frustrated, you know? Yeah, I, uh, I don't know what you mean. So what do you say? You, uh, you want to get out a little aggression? <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. Ah! 
Wow, you and me are frustrated. So, what's the point of knowing if you can't even talk about it? Dude, do you have any idea how much trouble I'd get in if I talked about that shit? And look at me with my delicate features. Hey. I wouldn't last three days in a joint. Stuff oh. that I found when I hacked into those level four security tiles. Hey. I could have started World War Three. <laughs> Dude, that's oh. so awesome! Hey. You're like... You're like fucking James Bond or something. Daniel Craig is so good looking. Yeah, yeah, he is. He is. He has such a perfect. Pot. But uh, it's not that I'm gay or anything. It's just it's very sculpted, and I wish mine was like that. Yeah, he hands You know what? In the end, I'm here, hanging with my boys, taking hits, all the while working like this kick-ass job, busting hackers from the CIA. My mom says I look a little bit like Daniel Craig sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Kobayashi did it! 60 hot dogs! Oh, the man is a god! When in doubt, always bet on yellow. Isn't the Zang always bet on black? Wesley's nice nice fan, though. Great. Yes, you're correct, but uh, it was a plan where it's dipshit. Keep up. What was the bet? I raced all your outstanding parking tickets from last year? Try for the last three years, you scammo! Never do. Ask me my computer. See, that's it. Um, Are we still done with that? <coughs> What's bet? I bet you can't drink ten medium glasses of water in ten minutes. What? Dude, I could drink 10 pints of beer in 10 minutes. Okay, if you win, I give you 100 bucks. If I win, you get me into any college of my choice. Done. Hey, Pager. What's going on? You're avoiding Uncle Kev. Lucky guess. Hey, you stick around. I'm about to win 140 bucks by drinking 10 glasses of water in 10 minutes. Look at that. That's where 10 pints of water are going, boys, right there. <laughs> and my little baby. Hey, He's Pager. Your cousin is so hot. Dude, don't even think about it. I'll slit your throat throughout a war DVD case. Hey, Johnny. I went to Mountain Co-op today, and I got you this. Oh my god, Dad, I love it! You're the best! Okay, uh, well, I've been going over our uh, trip for the weekend, and we have too many activities. We're going to have to narrow them down, so make a choice between kayaking and fishing. Kayaking. Uh, what about hiking and bird watching? Hiking, definitely. Right. Uh, okay, now for the rock climbing. I thought we could go Sunday. About next weekend, Dad. I have exams coming up. And with all my schoolwork and extracurriculars, I really don't think that I'll be able to make it. <laughs> We've all been planning this trip for a long time, Paige. I don't understand why you guys can't just go without me. Well, because it's a family trip. She's not part of the family. What did you say? Do you want me to fail, Dad? Is that what you want? We both know that if you took your exam tomorrow, you wouldn't get anything lower than an A-. minus. What do you have against her? Excuse me? We both know that this is about Deb. What? You are so far off. Am I? I'll, uh... I'll phone her tomorrow and tell her that, uh, we're just not ready yet. Dad, don't do that. Paige, what do you want me to do? Just tell me and I will do I it. I don't know. I just want things to be the way they used to be. You act like things were so great before Mom died. 
Newsflash, Dad, things weren't as perfect as you thought they were. Things weren't perfect, but they were good. No, they weren't. You and Mom were constantly arguing about who got to do the next story abroad. And Mom was constantly taking pills from her asshole shrink. Why are you like this? You know, you're just like your mother like this. You're with the anger and the you complaining. You know, we never went on these family trips that you so conveniently started imagining we did after she died. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. Stop it. Just stop it. I don't know what you're trying to do here, but I'm not going to let it happen. We were happy. And I am not going to let this family fall apart. Do you understand me? Dad. What's going on? It's okay, buddy. Let's just go back to sleep, okay? Just go back.
Get off! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I'm gonna fucking kill you! Are you okay? Yeah. Are you... Paige, are you serious? I'm I... fine, just go! Don't move, I'm gonna be right back! dog was barking uncontrollably, so I went outside to see what was wrong. I saw something behind the fence, so I started chasing it. He ambushed me, and the next thing I knew, he was lying on top of me. What? So he was waiting outside of your house? And so you just started chasing him? Yeah. Are you crazy? How do you know he didn't have other guys with him? Or what if, what if he had a weapon or something? on you know, impulse, okay? Who are you calling? I'm calling the police. No. Paige, give me back the phone. We have to report this. No, I'm not gonna let you call the police. Paige, you have an obligation to the women in this community to report this for their own safety. No, I refuse to submit myself to all the questions and accusations that go along with the police report. No way. Okay, I will not be seen as a victim, okay? I am not a victim. You can submit an anonymous report. Fine. You do. I saw it jump 80 plus feet over the river onto the other side of the cliff. 80 feet! Even if we take into account the extreme drop in elevation, he would still have to have jumped 30 feet across. Paige, Olympic athletes jump 30 feet, and we're not even taking into account the extreme impact of the landing. Sorry. I'm being totally insensitive. Did you at least kick him in the balls? Please tell me you kicked him in the balls. No. You kicked me in the balls and I'm supposed to be your friend. You didn't kick him in the balls? No. You punched him though, didn't you? Come on, I'll walk you home. First draft? Mm-hmm. And? You really have that much time? What did you think about the article? Look, I think it's great that you're so passionate and you have got a ton of potential. Uh, Tyler, well. what did you think about the article? I can't just run a story with absolutely no proof to it. Are you kidding me? 
Tyler, stop! I cited a number of different sources, not to mention multiple witnesses to these events. Yes, from unofficial websites and loonies who believe in aliens from Mars. Are you saying those witnesses were lying? Look, what I'm saying is, real or not real, people are going to believe what they want to believe. And I am being devil's advocate here, okay? You, however, have an obligation to the public to be truthful. Don't become the next Stephen Glass. So, you're gonna get your facts straight and then you're gonna fact check them. And once you verify everything, you are gonna fact check them again. My neighbor's dog just went missing. That is the fourth dog to go missing in my neighborhood in the last month. Something is going on and I'm gonna find out what it is. Dr. Richard Young, please. Tell him it's urgent. Feels so good to sit down. You know, some guys even try and pick me up without a car. You're kidding me? Yeah, right. Feet hurt. I have to build my shoe today. Fucking, I keep trying to tape it and nothing seems to freaking work and it just breaks and breaks and breaks. I don't know why I don't get in a fucking pair of boots. God. Oh, God. You don't talk much, huh? Bye, guy. You know, uh, if that's what you like, it's kind of nice. I don't have to listen to anybody jabber on and on and on. I feel like I listen to people jabber on and on and on all day long. I still don't see why we had to come back here. I ran into a wall with my writing. I'm hoping we can find a clue or something. Besides, we can both use the exercise. How you doing? Nice day for a hike, don't you think? <sighs> you no, know, I've been coming out here ever since I was, well, probably a few years younger than the two of you. You must know the place pretty well then. Well, you'd be hard pressed to find anybody that knows it better than me. Oh, it's a hot one today. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary in the past week or so? Well, that really depends on how you define out of the ordinary. This place has always been anything but ordinary. Well, I gotta go. Uh, sir, I think you dropped something. Well, whatever it is, it's not mine. I gotta go. Have a good one.
He could go off the way. Touchdown! Hey, new rule. Next time we play, you gotta change your team. That's fine, man, because it's getting too easy. What are you doing, fool? You just lost, bro. It's my turn. Oh, rest of you four. Fuck that shit. I don't need anything else broken. <laughs> I'm taking the quiz. <coughs> what? I'm fine. Let's play. Lucius. Oh shit, sorry Brandy, I forgot you were there. Listen, after this next game, we'll go, I promise. That's what you said the last one and the one before that. Oh, did you quit busting my bones? I'm on a hot streak. I've been waiting here for over an hour, and I called you on the phone before I came to tell you I was hungry. I know, and I swear on my grandfather's grave, we'll go after this next game. I'm leaving now, it was coming a lot. Brandy, come on, baby, you know I don't respond well to ultimatums. Anyway, after this next game, dinner's on me. Come by a nice your information, I have my own money. And I'm on a diet. If you're on a diet, why are you so eager to eat? <laughs> I'm an asshole. Where are you going? I'm leaving. Hey, hey! Wait a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright? What do you say, uh, you and I go back into the bedroom? Can we make up? Come on. Like you're rough, huh? I only like broccoli and cheese. Mm, broccoli cheese and cheese, cheese sauce. Ah. So good. Yeah, oh yeah. Randy, are you okay? <sighs> Tell me, Ronnie, what is it with guys and their video games? Uh, you do you really want me to dance that, or is that a rhetorical question? Fuck with me right now, Ronnie. Okay, I'm really not in the mood. Okay. Well, I like playing video games because it's one of the few things that completely engage my focus. It's like. A drug I can escape from reality. But I'd also like to add that no game, no matter how good it is, should get in between a man and his lady. Especially when that lady is as fine as you. Thanks, Rodney. That's really sweet. <laughs> Randy, to be frank, what really happened? I'm not really a big fan of Frank's. <laughs> I, I don't know, pretty well. Why? Maybe it's a sign. What sign? Well, I, I don't know. You guys have only been together for such... You guys have only been together for such a short time, and you already have all these problems, not to mention his reputation. He would never cheat on me. I can totally trust him. It's all these girls throwing themselves at him that I can't trust. Okay. He's an innocent page. I saw the way you were throwing yourself at him at his party. Me all over him? <laughs> I'm sorry, Brandy, but it was the other way around. We've been friends since elementary school. I would never do anything That's like right. that. I'm sorry, I forgot. You're Miss Perfect, Miss Big Time Journalist, aren't you? <laughs> wow. Okay, I was just trying to help, but apparently you don't want it. By help, you mean steal my boyfriend, then to know I'd rather you not.
Deborah was nice enough to uh, stop at the market on the way over and she picked up some pizza dough and all the toppings that you could ever imagine. Isn't that great? Yeah! Yum. Yeah, great. Cody, sweetheart. Don't go to the kitchen. 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 No, I want to make my pizza with chocolate chips and cookie dough. Well, then that means that the chicken monster is going to come over here. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so, hey, do you want me to start you off one? No, I'm not hungry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. What's going on? You love pizza. I'm just really tired. Do you want to talk about it? No, not now. I just, I just want to lie down for a bit. Okay, all right. All right, let's get these going. These are gonna be so yummy. go see Wally this week. I do, I do. Me too. I don't know what's it about. It's uh, about a little robot that is all alone on Earth for, I don't know, like a million years and he has to take care of all the garbage. Yes, uh, because, you know, we've destroyed the Earth and there's nothing left but garbage. And then this other cute little robot shows up and she's white. And, did like, you shaking. know that between the year 2003 up until today, the Iraqi civilian death toll is between 81 and 88,000 people? The latest death being a child in a roadside bomb north of Kirkuk. Oh my God. God has nothing to do with it. Dad, is that true? It's okay, son. Just uh, eat your pizza. Every day, people all around the world are dying so we can save money at the gas pump and satisfy our industrial military complex. Do you know that large pharmaceutical companies are pumping billions of dollars into lobbyist pockets so they can pass bills to sell their drugs for more money? I know, I know, it's, it's terrible. Isn't it, Deb? <laughs> Yet here we are, eating our pizza and talking about movies while children are dying. That is enough, Paige. Tell that to the government. There's a time and place for this discussion, and this is neither. I'm not hungry. Hey, Dr. Sweeney, let me give you a hand with that. Thank you, Sydney. Just put them down over there. <sighs> well, I heard the good news about your being accepted into neurology from your father. Uh, Congratulations. Just put those down. Yeah, when your father's friends with the dean of admissions, it's not that big of a deal. 
You have all the credentials. You were top in your class, both first and second year. Even your father slipped up during his second year of med school. What was my father like back then? Brilliant. Talented, gifted, driven. Could have done anything he wanted. You remind me of him. I don't think so. My father and I are completely different people. Well, I think the politics with the administration and the hospital made him lose sight of what he should have been focused on, which was medicine. Anyways, what did you have to show me? I've been analyzing Henry Morris's lab results and found something that might be of interest. I've administered every type of antibiotic to the virus, but just when we thought that we'd killed it, we hadn't. Just gone dormant. To protect itself from being exposed to the antibiotic. I, I guess. God. This is highly unusual. Run the tests again from the beginning just to verify and analyze its method of transmission. Okay. Hey, is this today's paper? Oh, I think it's last week's. So you can throw that out. Oh, just one of their legendary floats. Nice. I think I might grab one of those myself. Make sure you get the one with pralines and cream. It is so good. I haven't tried that before. Really? I have some. Mm. <laughs> You're in a good mood. Life is good. <laughs> you seen Brandy? No. Are you supposed to meet her? Yeah, but I think she's running a little late. As usual. <laughs> I know, one time she made me wait for her for an hour and a half at the mall. I was so mad at her. As long as she made me wait was an hour. Now I just get her to meet me 30 minutes before the actual time we have to meet. Oh my god, that is such a good idea. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. Oh my god, Mo, you look so cute! Hey man, is it yours? Yeah, yeah, well, I thought when my parents said they were going to buy me new wheels, they meant a car, but... Apparently this is their way of being nice. Yeah, well, I think it's hot. Really? Yeah. Will you take me for a ride? Okay. Mm. Are you doing okay? Something about party poop, Mo, take me for a ride, okay? Sure, yeah. Um... <laughs> okay, uh... Here, let me try. I rode a lot of dirt bikes when I was younger. Okay, all right, sure. Here. Sometimes the story gets a little tricky. Hold on! fun you had. Where did you get that? I found it. Found it? Found it where? None of your business. Why are you wearing it? I like it. What's your problem? Mo, was Brandy just here? Yeah. Yeah, she took off. She, she looked pretty upset. Oh my god, I am so stupid. I'm still here. Okay, I know. I love it when your parents leave. That is awesome. I'm so sorry. Brandy! I'm actually, I'm, 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 I'm totally gonna wear my new shoes. And, you know, I know that you get stuck on these trips, but I'm gonna
What, Paige? <laughs> what could you possibly have to say to me? That I'm overreacting, that it's all in my head? <laughs> I saw you two together on that stupid scooter, okay? And you know, ever since we were kids, you've always gotten what you wanted and I'm sick of it, okay? Brandy, I do not like Lucius. If you only knew how fucking revolting I really think he is. Right. Actions speak louder than words, Paige. We're so different, sometimes I wonder why we still hang out. Brandy, wait. What? Do you really want to know the truth? <laughs> yes. Okay, but don't expect me to believe you or anything. Okay. Well, the reason why Lucius and I broke up was because he hurt me. One night after we had some drinks, we headed back to his place. Okay, no, look, I know he can be a bit rough sometimes, okay? That's just the way he is. But you don't have to make him seem like a total monster, okay? The phone. So you heard. It's high school, Paige. You know, everything travels like wildfire through the grapevine. What are people saying? You know, the usual. You and Brandy are in a huge cat fight, and you're gonna bring back a semi automatic weapon and kill everyone. What did you say? I said you had too much style to bring a semi automatic weapon. A samurai <laughs> sword was your weapon of choice. What am I doing? Did you know that my father did some correspondence over in Iraq in the 90s? And my mother helped to expose the exploitation of laborers by large diamond companies in Africa. And I'm here having problems writing a stupid story about some animals having their brains ripped out. Not to mention this ridiculous spat that I'm having with Brandy. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my mind. Hey, you're, you're the most put together person I know. I mean, who else at 17 has written an article for the national newspaper? Or, or competed nationally on a Taekwondo team? Or can tie a cherry stem with her tongue? <laughs> what would I do without you, Mom? Words cannot describe, Paige. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you check your phone. Thanks to you. Come on, we have to go. Who was it? Sydney, I think it's important. Oh, hey, Paige. Hey, Mo. <laughs> it's okay, he was there that first night. Cool. Well, this is where I do uh, most of my research on viruses and viral infections. Come on in. Oh, don't touch anything. Despite appearances, all this stuff is pretty important. Why are you looking at me like that? Paige, why didn't you tell me that you were admitted to the hospital? What are you talking about? This bracelet that you're wearing. The hospital administers it to patients who have symptoms of the C8 virus. It acts as a tracking device. What's the C8 virus? Well, it's a new virus that's popped up on the radar. It's not a big deal. It's just a, a bracelet's a precautionary measure. Oh, well, I didn't get it from the hospital. I actually just found it in the forest, thought it looked cool. Well, it's not cool. This is a potentially devastating virus. <laughs> you just said it wasn't a big deal. Well, that's because I thought that you had it. It is a big fucking deal. Take it off. <sighs> Paige. Paige. Paige, I'm sorry, okay? It's... I know it doesn't seem that way, but I'm actually really relieved that you don't have the virus. Look, I want to show you something. Take a look at this. This is last weekend's paper. I get The Guardian every day and I didn't see this. Yeah, that's because they pulled the story after they started printing it. It's impossible. Do you know how much trouble it is to stop the printing machines once they've started? To reset and start all over again? Somebody must have cared a lot about the story to have pulled it. How did you get this? Well, I didn't. Dr. Sweeney, the guy who I do my research with, somehow he got a hold of it. You know, I was doing some of my own research in some chat rooms. Apparently, some TV crew ran a story on a farmer who found his cow dead. 
The entire body was intact, except the brain was devoured. Sounds a lot hmm. like what we saw last week in the forest. You see a clip on that? I looked all over online for it, couldn't find anything. So I called the TV station and they said they had no idea what I was talking about. You guys feel like going for a road trip? Pretty sure. Okay, good. Because I gotta take a piss so bad right now. Does this guy know we're coming or should we be concerned? He's a farmer. How bad could he be? Now stop the car so I can take a piss already. So, what's this fascination you have with viruses? What do you think is the biggest threat we face today? Global warming, terrorism, weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, yeah all very ominous indeed, but uh, not even close. <laughs> okay, humor me. What is the biggest threat we face today? Viruses, i.e. infectious diseases. Every 35 years, there's a global pandemic that results in the loss of millions of lives. The WHO estimates that 25 million people died from HIV since 1981. 35 to 45 million people live with the disease today. 27 years after the discovery of the disease, and we still have no cure. In the past few years, we've had regional pockets of illnesses from Ebola, dengue fever, SARS, avian flu, my biggest fear is the next one's on the brink, and it is going to kill more people than global warming, terrorism, and weapons of mass destruction combined. What you're doing is trespass. And by law, I'm within my rights to shoot any and all trespassers. Oh, don't shoot. Uh, my parents will kill me, okay? It's okay. Uh, guys? Guys! <clears throat> uh, we're with the Guardian. We were just wondering... No. Already answered all your questions. Tell you the truth, I don't care to answer any more. We just have a few questions. It'll only take a few minutes. Aren't you a little young to be working on the paper? How old are you? Seventeen. Seventeen? <laughs> That's all right. I mean, uh, seventeen. You know, there's all these guys that are uh, well over thirty and they're still living with their folks. I mean, I was 14, you know, I was on the street, crossing the country, all by myself, seeing the world. Are you going to catch this bastard that killed my fae? We'll definitely try. Who are you? Oh, I'm Sydney. I'm the, uh, forensics. No shit. CSI? It's my favorite program. I mean, the way they catch all those people with DNA evidence? Hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... Who might you be? I'm a, I'm a mole. The intern. Well, hey. My name's Derby, and I'm pleased to meet you folks. Follow me. I'll uh, show you where it all went down. So I'm, uh, I'm fast asleep, and then all of a sudden, I hear the sound, and it's my livestock going ape shit. So I run outside, and uh, I find my Faye dead, intact, except for her brains have been ripped out. Now, I ask you, who the hell would want to do something like that? Did you see anything? Yeah, I saw something in the distance, so I started shooting. And I swear, I hit something. Where were you shooting? Yeah, right over there. Can you give me a description of what you were shooting at? Uh, not really. I, it was moving kind of fast. Moved almost like a monkey. Oh, I just thought of something. Um, you know, I just thought of something that I think that may help. Uh, it's in the barn. Hang on, I'll be right back.
Mo, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. That guy's the same guy that attacked you the other night. How do you know? I can tell by the way he moves. Do you think it's Bud? I don't know. Hey, is your cousin Rodney still living with you guys? In the basement, yeah. What sort of hacking did he do? Oh my god. Stealing from unions, large companies, hacking into all sorts of classified files. But he didn't really get into trouble until he hacked into a level 4 government file. Do you think he can hack into the Channel 4 and Guardian mainframe? I'm already on it. I tried calling you today, but you didn't pick up. I was out doing some research. I'm really sorry about what happened yesterday. Yeah, well, I'm not the uh, only one you should be apologizing to. Whatever. Okay, a lot of what you said yesterday made a lot of sense. I remember being around your age and... I was always so angry at the injustice in the world, but I've learned that there's very little you can do to stop it. So are you saying we just shouldn't do anything about it? No, no, not at all. It's just, given the right circumstances, you can shift the balance of power, but it's an uphill battle and you gotta choose your spots. Are you still taking your medication? Yes. I want you to start seeing Dr. Leith again. I'm fine. Besides, all we ever did was talk about these stupid dreams that I have and what they mean. Then I'll talk to him about referring you to another doctor. I think it's really important that you talk to someone. Fine. Hey, I know this is really hard for you. This is hard for all of us, okay? I'm really tired. Night, sweetheart. I love you. Hey, Rodney. Wayne. Hey. Hello, oh, Pedro. What you guys doing? I just updating a security program. Some hackers managed to weasel their way into a pension fund and stole 200 mil. Wow. Yeah, but they were sloppy and they got caught as usual. What'd they do, buy a $200 million island? No. <laughs> as hard as it is to hack into some of these programs, it is possible, but what's impossible is getting out without being traced. These anti-hacking programs have homing devices attached to them, and they begin tracing as soon as they suspect illegal entry. So by the time you hack into the program, we already know who you are. How long do you have? 20, 30 seconds tops. Could you have done it? Age. Hypothetically speaking. No. Wow. They did a good job of brainwashing you, huh? Paige, what's up? I've been working on a story. Oh yeah, what about? Animals having their brains devoured. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> Who's killing them, zombies? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, could you do me a favor? I was waiting for you to ask. Do you think you could hack into the Guardian's mainframe? Paige, what if I get caught? The Godfather get caught? <sighs> Come on, seriously, this would really help. Please? What are you willing to offer in exchange? <sighs> What do you want? A date with Brandy. Done. Well, shouldn't be too difficult considering it's just a newspaper. It's a good time to begin. Synchronize your watch to 20 seconds and begin. It's funny, they have some really elaborate anti-hacking code, stuff that only financial institutions and governments would use. Uh, 
I can't do it. What do you mean? You still have 15 seconds left. No, but I can't risk getting caught. Even if I get in, they'll know who I am. They've gone through a lot of trouble to try and hide something. Hello. Hey, Sid. I tested Henry Morrison's blood sample and the results were positive. Whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? The results you sent me from the farm? It's positive. The virus isn't reacting to the treatment and, and it's becoming dormant. And hey, what were you doing in the middle of nowhere at the farm with Henry anyways? Sydney? Uh, Jer, I, I, I gotta go. Sorry, thanks. Randy's Bike Shop and Repairs, how can I help you? Hi, my name is Sydney Young. I'm a resident at the University Hospital. Is there any way that I could speak with Henry Morse? Uh, Henry's missed his last three shifts. Uh, he didn't even call, actually, which is kind of strange because he's usually pretty reliable. I, mean, I tried calling his cell, but no answer. Sorry, dude. Oh, thanks. had you pegged for a hot dog eater. What'd you have me pegged for? I don't know, you know, someone who uh, watches what he eats, vegan, maybe. <laughs> no, I'm all about the lips and assholes, baby. Uh, you're still disgusting. <laughs> so I got a disturbing phone call. Turns out someone from your neighborhood was trying to hack into the Chronicle's mainframe. In my neighborhood? Yeah, they got off fast enough we weren't able to pinpoint an exact location, but... We have our suspicions. You, uh, think it's Rodney? Yeah, we think it's Rodney. We also think he was coerced. <laughs> Paige. Well, what do you want me to do about it? I can't stop her from going after a story. Look, this particular story has got a lot of people very nervous. Important people. People with a lot of money and a lot of influence. Kevin, if you can't stop her, someone else will. That's my goddamn job! Fuck oh, off! I'm trying to help you here! Look, you have to believe me when I say people are on a very tight leash with this. I only know what I'm supposed to, and I gotta tell you, I'm real happy about that. You have changed. I've got a family now! I can't play this game anymore! Sydney. Hey, what are you banging on the door? I'm sorry, does Henry Morse live here? I haven't seen him for a while. I'm a resident at the university hospital. Henry's a patient of mine. He was actually supposed to come in a couple days ago. He hasn't shown up. He hasn't been answering his phone. He hasn't been to work. Is there any way that I could see him? It's really important. Okay, I get the cue. Thanks. 
Thanks, I appreciate this. Thank you. Henry, it's Hey, Paige. What's up? Yeah, it turns out the uh, blood that we found at the farm belongs to a patient of mine by the name of Henry Morse. He has the C8 virus. Can you ask Rodney to hack into the computer's mainframe at the hospital and track him for me? I'll have to see. Thanks. people and driving them to kill. You need to take Ash and Cody to the cottage to keep them safe, okay? What about you? I'll be fine. I'll, I'll meet up with you later. I just have to help Sydney with some things right now. Uh, can I help? You can hack into the hospital's mainframe, okay? Look up a patient by the name of Henry Morris. He may be the link. Okay. You're okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. What the fuck? 
you doing? My father is dead. What? Don't act surprised. I knew I should have never trusted you, and here I was thinking you were helping me. I was, I was protecting you. From what? For making the same mistake your mother made. Your mother uncovered a story. I begged her to let it go, but she wouldn't listen. What story? She discovered that a pharmaceutical company called Ditex had created a designer virus called the C8 virus. The C8 virus attacks the brain, magnifies personal characteristics. If you have an eating disorder, you become obese. If you're pessimistic, you develop severe depression. Ditax would have exclusive rights to the drugs to treat the affected. Look, billions of dollars are at stake here, Paige. Everyone is involved. Hospitals, politicians. And How are people being infected? They use animals to bite and infect people. They try to keep the sample small to control it, but things are getting out of control. What do you mean? I'm no expert, but controlling viruses is an inexact science. Something always goes wrong. Don't. I loved your mother. There was nothing I can do. I'm sorry. Paige. Low heat forest. Thank you for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Dr. Sweeney, what can you tell us about the virus? Is there cause for alarm here? The degree of alarm is still in question, but let there be no mistake. We should be very concerned. The number of reported illnesses has dramatically spiked in recent months, and they're continuing to rise at an exponential rate. Are we safe to go out in public? I mean, what are the Well, we're still in the preliminary stages of research on the virus. Um, but early indications warrant being very cautious. Am I suggesting that we stock up on supplies and isolate ourselves? Not exactly. We still don't fully understand how the disease is being transmitted. Initially, we believed that animals were the cause of transmission, but we have had reports of human-to-human -human transmission. Where have you been? I've been waiting a half an hour. Sorry, I got here as fast as I could. Where to? The lead forest. Let me import the best. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was so harsh. You must be high, man. Mm. This stuff is as smooth as a baby's bottom. You must be high because it's rougher than your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you gonna fucking rain on my parade like that? <sighs> you make me look like a damn fool. It's just so easy, man. Shut the fuck up, Brad. <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah? This again? <laughs> Look who it is! Where have you been? Stuff I'd take care of. Don't even talk to me about this. Why were you even talking to her today? But I can't say hi to her anymore. You seriously don't get it, do you? Brandy, you have nothing to worry about. She means absolutely nothing to me. You are so full of shit. Yeah, you know what you are? What am I? You are a spoiled mama's boy. Not to mention you're stupid and lazy and you can't kiss worth shit. Oh! What? Me? Go get that Where's that weed, man? Fucking rain on my brain.
don't like my kissing? What are you doing? what you've done. Do you have any idea what I'm going to do to you? Oh, <laughs> 
Where's Dad? Dad's gone.